Record. Okay, hold on. We're just going to start the recording right. right now. And I just want to introduce what we're doing, and it's the canvas um, Crayola Melt. And Adam's here showing us right now, um, and he's just gluing crayon onto the canvas, Crayola brand. All one brand, if you, no matter what you pick. But. Best to use all one brand of crayon. I also want to say, if you're doing this project, have a sweat rag available or something because it gets really hot. <laughs> you're using a hot glue gun and then you're using hair dryer and it just gets all sorts of uncomfortable. But Goldie wants to know if she should send her address now because she's going to win it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this, I got the canvases buy one get one at Michael's. They were not very expensive. I want to say maybe ten ninety nine for a canvas. And then the second one um, obviously was free. I only buy them when I have a coupon. So there you go. Also, I just want to show you, like, I made it like this. When you make it, obviously, you're going to be using gravity's force by, you know, tilting and letting the wax uh, go down. But I kind of like them better when they're upside down. It kind of looks like fire or something to me. So a cool idea could be, you know, how we're using all the cool colors right now. Use all the warm colors, turn it upside down, and uh, kind of make a fiery thing with it. And I think that would look really cool. Yeah. Oh, I was also, this is a, kind of a note to my mom, but it's to you guys too. Um, I was looking at like crayon art and somebody was saying that they put like, and I mean, you're definitely not going to do this because it's going to ruin your thing. They were putting their crayons through a hot glue gun and they were able to draw with it. So if you guys have an extra hot glue gun, I'd try that out and let us know how it goes. Oh, there you go. Did you hear that? Um, as you can see, we have a couple extra crayons, but way better than having not enough crayons. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the hair dryer. We're going to try to adjust this camera without making you guys um, get motion sickness. Yeah. Um, we're going to aim the, where is that hair dryer? We're going to aim the hair dryer at here. Uh, I don't know who was in here before and who wasn't, but um, not at the tip because then, you know, you want the whole crayon to melt. Um, if you do it right here, you're just going to get the tip melting and it's going to splatter everywhere. If you aim towards the middle, the whole crayon will start heating. And you'll know, like at one point, these crayons will literally just start gushing Oozing. out. Yep. Um, I don't know if we're going to, aim for gushing crayons because we want to make this look like rain so we want to make it look um we're still gonna do full streams and stuff but uh you know we're we're just gonna see what happens i guess all right so you guys i'm sorry but the camera's gonna move around a little bit because i'm gonna want you to see how he's Let's actually how this doing sure. this um i've got you suspended from the chandelier again right now to get a, a view from the top but we're gonna have to see what the best way of doing this is Oh, froggy, I'm sorry. Just so you know, you will get wax in a lot of places. Um, so put down a lot of wax paper, newspaper. Um, All right, here we go. I'm going to move. I'm going to cover you up first, and then... Oh, wait, I, want to All right. more I just want you to be able to see what he's going to be doing with that. He put a box underneath the canvas so that it's tilted up because we're going to be using gravity. My yeah. other ones I was using, I was tilting it straight up and down, which I might actually do right here because you guys can still see. So. All right. I'm going to try to move the camera as little as possible Jeez. as he's doing stuff. And you can come behind me if you I'm want, Adam. To. I'm going to have to. Because it's going to be hard for you to work upside okay. down. He's having a lot of patience here. Um, yeah, just a lot of wax paper, newspaper, whatever. Um, we were doing this in my friend's bedroom okay. and... Murdered. She got red crayon all over her bed. It looks like she murdered somebody. Oh, no. Her mom came in there, and she just got freaked out. So. They say you're a very good teacher. Thank you. He's actually going to school for teaching, so this is good. Okay. Hopefully, they'll stay and not fall. Okay. This is going to be loud. Do you want to mute it? Like, no. Um, we're going to have a lot of noise now down with the hair dryer, I'm so you might want to turn your volume down a little bit. Mine is adjusted. Um, Okay, you know what? Maybe we should turn it and you might have to No, here you go. There's an extension cord underneath on the floor there. Come stand behind me and plug the hair dryer in. Sorry, people. This is... Well, this was hard to figure out how to do. This it's a swiping. big canvas. Um, pull the cord out from underneath the cabinet there. It's the same, right? Yeah. Now go ahead and unplug one of those. One the one on the end is fine. Hi, little boy. Put your... In there. Hello, ladies. Hello, oh, brother. Here it is. Froggy Ray's here. Bye. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> she said hello, love bug. Okay, Adam, you have to click that switch now. There you go. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, so... um. <laughs> He's leaving. He's going to play cards. Alright, I can't because I'm going to make them sick. Watch out for the um, glass pot. What path. I do is I start on medium heat because um, you never know how much it's going to be flinging around. Okay. So I'm going to start on the right side since I'm going to have to be careful about the this umbrella. Over here. So I'm actually calling this anymore. But wait, are we going to cover the umbrella? We will a little bit. Um, we're not. It's not going to be totally covered. So this is going to be really loud, so you guys right. might want to turn down your volume now. Turn your volume down, guys. Maybe five seconds. <laughs> He's oh. hiding from Froggy. High heat. Okay. Um, Can you see what you're doing here? Yeah, I'm more worried about And I do just want to say something really quick. It will get a little bit to get it started. So you're just going to be looking at some cranes here for a second. So just bear with us. show the stream. That needs to be moved out or something. Um, a heat gun does not work very well on this. You need something really hot, like the hair dryer. I can hold it for you. you just tilt it a little bit like that. Perfect. Right. Hear that, people? I'm perfect. <laughs> no, we had trouble with the heat gun, you guys. Heat guns are hotter than hair dryers, but you will not be able to control the wax as much as you wanted to. Um, also, another note, um, you guys heard of the uh, thing, you know, watching paint dry. You guys will quite literally be watching wax dry, so I'm sorry if this is tedious. Just bear with, uh, with us here, and then once an opportunity comes to show you how to manipulate the wax, I will do that. Okay, so you guys can see right here, um, oh, that looks really cool. Um, the tips are going away. Once the tips are pretty much gone, you're going to have some really heavy streams coming um, out. 
See how it's all clumping up right here? Uh, what you can do to make that go down faster is literally instead of holding the heat gun up at the crayons, you might want to move this back a little bit, the camera. Instead of holding the heat guns up at the crayons, hold it down at the wax, not high heat or it's going to go splattering everywhere. Um, start off farther away and move in. I'm going to show you that right now. You're going to watch this wax drip down lower. So you might want to move the camera back a little bit more. And you can control it. And see, it's raining. It's raining wax. So you cannot control that with the heat gun, ladies. This way, with the hair dryer, you can. Hi, Cheryl. He picked up. Adam picked out the colors. Aren't they awesome? Am I screaming? <laughs> All right. Yeah, my mom had a good point. A little bit of wax just splattered on her thumb. It's hot wax, people. Be careful with it. Be careful, people. Um, I've also noticed that if you get a lot of wax piling up up here, that is a good thing because you can control more. So what I'm trying to do right now is get as much wax out of there as possible without totally ruining the piece. Without burning your mom. And without burning my mom. But mostly without burning the piece. Uh. <laughs> You want to hold it from the other side? So yeah, I'm okay. I'm trying to... Oh, look how pretty. Love it. <laughs> And I don't mean to get all English teacher on you or philosophical or anything, but you know, there's something pretty like lethargic about like looking at this, like, you know, the colors like falling down. It's, it's cool to watch. It's fun to make and really cool to watch. And yeah, it does look like lava flow. I totally agree with that. So I'm going to get a little bit more wax out and then I'm going to... Froggy singing that. raindrops are falling on her head. <laughs> also get my written work critiqued. Okay, so wax is out. I'm just going to move it down a little bit. Um, this piece, because it's rain, um, I'm not going to have it streaming down too much like 
this piece, it's not going to be cover up, covering up the entire thing because then okay. the silhouette will get lost. I'm going to zoom in on the crayons just so you can see what's happened to the tips here. So there still are tips there. They're not all completely melted away. And heed my warning, when those tips do go away, you will get a lot, a lot, a lot of crayon coming out of there. So now, be careful. And so see the um, thickness in the air? This is the way I like it. I like the layered look. Okay, okay. so now... So, hold on, uh, how much of the crayon is left when it's done? Um, that's a really good question. The entire wrapper will still be there, it's glued on there. So um, on all of my pieces, the top part of the crayon is still there, but half of it is missing on the inside. Adam, um, I don't believe Froggy was paying attention during class. She's saying, okay, so he ran the dryer on the actual crayon and not the tip. I think you might have to repeat yourself because she wasn't paying attention. It's okay, I have to learn to deal with high school students, so I'll repeat myself again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, yeah, you aim it at the middle of the crayon. If you aim it at the tip, it's going to go splattering everywhere. As you can kind of see, if you want to move back the camera a little bit, yeah. see we got like a stream right there, stream right there. Um, just because of how we're set up here, it's kind of hard to hold them in one position. And yeah, I'm getting stiff neck, yeah. cramped, everything. Yeah. So uh, like I said, this is going to be a rain piece, so not going to be full stream. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to hold my dryer, the hair dryer really far back and aim at the... Um, point to the wax, point yeah, where point you're going to... at the wax. What's Show them where you're going to be doing it, not at um, the crayons. I'm going to be pointing right there. On okay, the go so. for it. From further away now, he's not right on the canvas. And because rain does hit the ground, we are going to get some streams going all the way to the bottom. And I'll show you how to deal with the bottom when I get there. Sorry. See, that's how I get on this side. Just move over a little bit. Um, I've also noticed that sometimes you don't want to point it directly at the wax if you only want to move a little bit of it. Point right underneath it and get away it from the hand. wax. Get it off my hand. Oh, that's burning. I thought you said the wax is burning. Here, I can hold it now. I'll hold it for a little bit. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh, that's totally wrong. I can't see what's going on over there. This is just a mess, people. I'm sorry. Okay. I think I have third degree burn on my palm. Uh, how about if I hold it over there now? Okay. Okay. See the extremes we go through for you guys? Pain is beauty, and that works with crafting too. I know. Anything for you girls. Now I'm going to move over to the other side because you can see these streams are moving that way and I don't want them to. So I'm kind of pretty much hugging my mom right now trying to get this. Aww. Sorry if I smell mine. I'm melting! I'm melting! Is it hitting your hand? No, I'm alright. Okay, you might want to hold it from the other side because I'm going to go right there. Alright. Hold it a second so it. I can grab the camera. Hold it right here. 
Um, ideally, I wouldn't have wanted that much stuff on top of the silhouette because I'm not liking how it's looking right now. But if you want to pull it back, pull the camera back and let them see the entire piece. It's not done yet. Um, this is kind of looking like a big clump here, but no, we learn. I think it <laughs> looks so. fine. We're just gonna make some of these uh, drops go down to the bottom, and we're gonna see what's happening. And yeah, silver crayon will looks cool. I didn't think of that. Good idea. I don't know if you can take it off, but you can definitely move it to make it look better. Um, I was playing around with, I wouldn't use plastic either because it is hot wax and it does get really hot. I was using a metal knife to kind of fool around with it. I don't know if you can remove it. Um, I would say probably not. I have an idea. Yeah. If you um, if you blow that around a little bit more so that it's flatter, I may be able to paint back over the umbrella yeah. with black again, and then it wouldn't be like that there, but I mean, I think it looks fine. And the good thing about this, too, is that, um, <laughs> the good thing about this, uh, too, is if you do screw up, like how I kind of am right here, just kind of make it like this and just have it float on the entire thing, you know? Um, if you screw up, you can always... Yeah, but you know that one picture that we saw on the internet, it was all clumped up in the yeah. middle, and I liked that. Yeah, I'm not an expert at this by any means, guys. I'm just showing you what I've learned so far. So, um, you know, just learn from our mistakes. And, yeah, I mean, you can hold on the dryer as much as you want. Um, do you want more done to this? Or? Yeah, I want. I would like it to run more on the right-hand side there. Right here. Yeah, and then I also like the clumped look up there in the center. You're going to find that um, the end pieces are going to be kind of hard. Um, to do because you're gonna get you're gonna see we have wax on this on the table over here It's gonna be flying off the side So if you're going from the the right side aim at an angle this kind of angle And obviously if you're going from the left side do opposite just so it's not flying off the piece turned out pretty cool the final thing that I have I didn't, I've never seen somebody actually do it um, but yeah it should work and just make sure you don't get the heat on the stuff that's already cooled off or it's gonna start messing your piece up but I hope it's gonna get close enough Um, also, for the most part, we're going to see if it happens here. Um, if you have pads, see how the wax is making their, its own pads? Um, if you go back over the crayons and let it run again, it will usually follow its path that it's already made. Um, sometimes that's not the exception, though, so just watch what's happening as you're doing this, just to make sure that you're not messing up the piece. Just watch it, people. I'll that down first.
told you to get a little bit clearer. Mm -hmm. I know, that train is not going to melt. This one is green. I didn't want to be <laughs> Brody, I think this is detention for you. <laughs> you two, the ladies there. Yeah? See the thing with the clumps so When you have the clump, my mom wants likes it clumpy, but when you have the clumps up at the top right here, it makes it harder for the wax to travel yeah. down the thing. So I am gonna put it on the wax on the clumpier parts for a little bit. The lady is still there. My mom's just holding the camera really Here, close. Here's the lady, Froggy. She's still alive. She's in there somewhere. Yep. Oh, wait. We were on low heat, so make sure you're always aware <laughs> what setting of heat you're on. Because this would have went a lot faster if we were doing this. Okay, Cheryl, thanks. We're recording. Thank you. Oh, Ooh, that's got to burn. <laughs> Look at what happened to me, you guys. <laughs> Battle scars. I have crafting, I crafting scars. We're going to talk a little bit more because that's, that's got to burn really bad. I'm a tough lady, Adam. I have three children. Oh, cool. You were great to teach. <laughs> Hi, Martha. I would just glue the crayons down for them, maybe. Yeah, and be careful with the heat tool. Yeah, because as you've seen, my mom has been burned quite a few times already. I'm just gonna have this oh, hi, Patrice. <laughs> um, I'm actually green, froggy, like a frog. I have green water on my um, thumb. That's why you do want to be careful with kids when you're doing this. Oh, <laughs> right, thanks for coming. Is that good? Yeah. Like yeah. Do you like it? It's too comfortable. The rain doesn't fall like that. Well, I like the picture all together. Okay, if you don't like the lady like that, then we can cover the lady completely up if you want to cover the whole no, no, canvas. No, no, we don't have to do that, no. The and only I thing, the only complaint I have about what I just did here is that, I mean, obviously rain doesn't come down like that, you know. Um, okay, so then why don't we just cover the lady up and then we can, still, we can do, do, do like it later. No? We can do another one do just like with raindrops. No? Yeah, I do. I do would like you to fix this part, though. What? See how it's all... Splattered? Yeah. Watch your fingers. Yeah, that pretty much everywhere. That's alright, I'll clean it up. Yeah. Do you yeah, have like I, a scraping tool I can use? Just go get a knife. My scraping tools are all in my craft room and I can't let go of the camera and everything here. What are you going to do? You said you don't like that little part, right? I, I like it all now. I'm thinking you should just maybe just go ahead and cover up the lady and just let it all run. Alright. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're going to cover up the lady. We're covering up <laughs> the lady and what we're going to do, we'll do a lady another time because uh, 
We're going to cover up the lady and what we're going to do is we're going to let all of the crayons run, cover the entire canvas and clump it up. Okay? Yeah. Right. You can also paint things on there. Um, a nice little thing I saw that you could do with your like kids is uh, have them dip their hands in, well, completely cover a canvas, uh, have them dip their hands in white paint and then kind of just press it right on there and it stays on there. It looks really cool. Yeah. And I've um, seen people also stamp into this too. So um, we're going to go ahead and cover over the lady. We'll do a lady at another time where it just looks like the drippings of the rain. So we're going to cover the whole canvas, and I want to see lots of clumps here, Adam, because I like clumps. Well, I'm going to first make sure it covers the whole canvas. So I'm going to aim at the uh, wax first. Okay. Also, by tilting the canvas is how you're going to get different looks. So even though you think I'm not doing anything, I'm participating in the creation. <laughs> so. Now make sure, ladies, you're working on wax paper because all that's going to drip to the bottom and it's got to fall somewhere and you want it to go onto the wax paper. I love the one you showed, you sent me, Martha. Okay, Here, go ahead I can now. Keep this Here, hold that right there. Oh, I think I've got third degree burns on my hand. <laughs> can you just hold on the bottom right there? Yeah, I can. You sure? Well, the crayon's going to melt onto my hand, though, so I should hold oh, the top. I'm going to side first, then we'll move it. All right. smells very different than regular crayons when you're coloring with them, you guys. So what he's doing now is he's just getting all of those colors to run, then he's going to go back and clump them up. And we'll show you how that's going to happen. I like the clump textured look. Some people say this looks muddy, but I love when the colors are all running together. Uh, the snow is not overpowering. I do not have any of my windows open. And I don't think I'm getting high at all, so... Something a high person would say. <laughs> I will tell you when, uh, when he was making his NIU one, and uh, he was doing two other ones, I did get a headache. Everybody say bye to the lady, she's going away. Say bye to the lady. Bye bye, lady. That sure took me all that time to get around there. Bye <laughs> bye, lady. Now 
long time you could um, rubber stamp in there. This is going to allow me to uh, write a quote in there and you guys know how much I like quotes. I've got a white Sharpie paint marker like the black one that I showed you. It'll be beautiful. Oh no! Oh, did we lose power? Yeah, Hold on, ladies. We are now in the dark. Okay, press. Oh, here. This no, no, be careful. Oh, hey, wait, did we lose power everywhere? No. Okay, stop clicking it. I just want you to be careful because that's electricity. Oh, I know what you got to do. Honey. Plug it back in and then hit the refresh, the red button on the plug right there. See it? Just try it. We might have to move now and plug into the other thing. All right. We might have popped that, that breaker. Unplug the hair dryer and go plug it in over there, and if we have to move, we'll move. It's well, the same. Went out too. It was this whole room. Um, our whole, yeah, our fans went out. I think we blew a circuit in the room. Uh, we are getting storms also. Okay, it's not turning on. <laughs> All right, uh, Adam, you've got to give Dad a call and ask him where the. Oh, it's in the laundry room. Do you know how to check the circuit breakers? If they're not labeled, I can't. If there's one that's not going in the direction that all the others are? It's still going in the direction that we just blew it. it wouldn't switch. Don't switch anything. Okay, now we're having craft class in the dark. Oh, you got it, honey. And he fixed us. All right, so okay, I'm going to plug some on. other stuff to make sure that... Yeah, but we need to turn another light on because it's dark in That's here. Fine. So. Yeah. Uh, shut the other lights off in the other part of the kitchen there. What? Shut those off. We got too much. Shut the fans off, probably. No, that's we got shut it's the fine. hallway. Shut the, the ball, hallway so. light off. And because you're gonna have to turn more on in here. They can't see. We're working in the dark, and these are dark colors. No, no. Oh. Okay, so he just got us back up and running. Froggy, don't jinx us. All right, sorry about All that. All right, here we go. He did say he would break it. Show you where he's pointing the uh, hair dryer. With the crayons there, right in the middle. And then the crayons are not becoming distorted or anything. And look at that cooling of color. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I do too. I really like this project. Okay, see how fast it starts running? Now he's controlling it by um, changing the speed of the heat. Look at that effect. That is beautiful, Adam. Is the bottom going to get covered? Do, I want to cover the whole thing. Then can you redo that up at the yeah. top? I love that. Okay, so now he's hitting it from the side to blow it back further onto the canvas. So you're, with your hair dryer, you're able to guide the colors, make them run. And now the crayons have reached a, a melting point where you can see it's really fastly dripping and the colors moving around. with your heat gun and see if you like it. It's just like I said, the, um, the temperature and the settings, you can't adjust like you can on the hair dryer. I 
I love the colors. This is going to look awesome on my cramped green door. to spray it all over. I wonder if a fine glitter would work. Where would you put the glitter? In there while it's melted. In the hair dryer? No, in the wax or something to throw it on there. She said, she said you put it in the hair, you put flour in the hair dryer. Wait, what are you asking? What's, what are they asking? She said, you know how you use flour in the hair dryer as a joke to spray it all over? Yeah, don't. <laughs> oh no. Okay. He likes the glitter idea. He told I me too. he told me the glitter a while ago and I said no, I don't have to put glitter on everything. Well don't tell Juliana I said that. I love these colors. <laughs> Yeah, Denise. <laughs> we'll put glitter in it and then someone will go use it to dry their hair. See, see now he's just literally guiding the color back and forth to get the whole canvas covered. We'll probably have difficulty covering the entire thing, too. It is kind of hard to control this, but I mean, well, but we're if you need to, it. just go back up to the crayons and get more wax. Get more wax, people. Get more wax. Isn't this beautiful? This is mine, Froggy. They're loving it. Okay, so he's gone back up to the top to get some more wax to guide it down. And look at the pulling. Look at that. So cool. Go, go, go. Cover up that umbrella. Okay. Martha said in the spots when they did theirs that weren't covering, they used a separate crayon and just rubbed it in there and melted it. Okay, he's, now he's using a knife and just pushing the color into the areas and then running the hair dryer over it to make it still look melted. So he's like painting with a knife right now. See that? Oh, Thank you, Adam. That was a wonderful idea. Get up there. That's where the umbrella was. I still see a black right. spot. No, down. it's that. No, down. That's it, that? Yeah, right there. That's part of the purple. See what he did with the knife, you guys? He's just pushing the color over with the knife and then hitting it with the hair dryer. That really looks like a part of the purple. Okay, you're good. All right, I'm going to hold on the other side. Okay, but are we going to run those colors? Because they all look yeah, like they're going in straight lines too. now. Okay, so see what we've achieved here? All right, hold on a second, Adam. I got the cord in my way. All Sorry, right. this can be a pain in the butt. Yeah, and I'm quite cramped. All right, here we go. Are Almost guys, done. Are you guys all still there? All right, so he's going up to the top to get more wet. Hi, Bluebell. At the very end, can you see tips? Yep, it does look feathery. That looks like a peacock. The knife is an awesome idea, it's working wonderfully. And then just smack the heat the hair dryer over it so it doesn't look like you did it.
it's a perfect idea for covering the blank areas is just use a knife and then guide your heat tool over it and it all blends. And it will probably look a little messy on the bottom, but it's going to have a nice contrast when you like go back up to the crayons and you're going to have almost perfect streaks going down and a layer effect, so it'll kind of have like a really good contrast with it. So this is what, what we're see. looking at right now. The colors look better. The camera looks a little weird, but... It does look like a watercolor. That would be a very cool science project. We didn't have, we didn't think of stuff like this when our kids had science projects. We were making homemade ice cream and things like that. I was getting yelled at by my dad. <laughs> like now. Yep. That's dad's job, they said. To yell? Yeah. We've almost got the whole thing covered. We're getting there. Do you guys like the clumps up at the top, the layered look? There'll be an even bigger layer look in a little bit. I like the layered look. I am not... Well, my husband knows who I have to say. <laughs> Our yellow seduction. He's a yeller. He loves his boys more than anything in the world, but he happened to be the hour. Yeah. It's crayon on the end up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is refusing to melt. It's only with a tip on it. See that end crayon, you guys? It has a tip on it still. The other one on the end does too, Adam. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're melting it. I just need to know exactly which crayon it was. Hi, Brenda. Kind of extras. Where'd they go? Over there. Hopefully this one's not too dark, but you know what? Even if it is, this whole thing is just random colors. So. Another right tip. Handed. Another tip for ya. Now they can only see the hair dryer. Uh, I'll move it in a second. I just gotta get this. So he's just putting some wax in there so he can melt it around. It is a different blue, but guess what? It doesn't really matter. This whole thing's a collage of color. Yeah. I don't know if you guys just saw it or just did there, but a uh, cool idea, I don't want to ruin this because it's already looking pretty cool for my mom, but uh, like maybe if you took a white crayon and kind of started melting it and then drew with it, yeah. that might look cool if, like, if you made one right in the middle. I don't want to do that because I don't know what it's going to look like. All right, now go from the side in that clumped area to cover up that big wad of blue. Where? In the right corner. That? Yeah, draw some of those colors yeah. down. When I too. draw these, they move to the right. Because if I end the, it's going to spoil it. It's too much, it's sticking out too much that it is just drawn there. I'm going over the dressing table a little bit. You what? I'm going over the dressing table a little bit. Just be careful. Ryan's, Ryan's going out, everybody. That was Ryan. 
try heating it from the back, she said. Well, this is one of those rat it's canvases, a thick one. Martha. So it's that's not going to work. This is one of those real thick ones. That's what I always say. Definitely could work on the thinner ones, though. Good idea. Right there, right there is how you got it. Is how it's going to run down. I think you might need more wax, so. I'll show you the canvas uh, when he's when he's done here, but it's one of those wrapped ones. It's the thick. Uh, Michael's had the, these are the only ones the artist loft wrapped ones were on sale. I normally don't buy these because they are expensive, but they were um, on sale. Okay. Tell me you gotta hit it from the height from the step one. Yeah, Michael's has their canvases on sale a lot, you guys. Okay, so now he's blended that corner in, so it looks awesome. Now the only other thing you got to do, Adam, is uh, I'm gonna make the layer now. You need to melt this corners, corner so like you did that corner. Sparks for him. Awesome. And now okay. we're just, this is going to be a quick part of this last Okay, part. now look at, move the cord, Adam. See what we've it's got here, ladies? Tilted. All right, here we go. Yeah, you'll see the colors better if you... Let's look. start here, up at the top. This is what it looks like. We're just going to do one more really quick layer. Beautiful. Just for the, the whole brush. thing is covered now. This, i got to put it down a second, you guys. My this hand. Uh, last part, we're going to keep it actually tilted like this so it doesn't move down too far, and we're just going to go over the crayons really quick. All right. And hopefully, I won't mess it up. <laughs> All right. Actually, I'm going to tilt it up a little bit higher. Should I do something besides to hold the camera and get burned? Oh, no.
Isn't that cool? I like that look. I wish I saw it in a better light. Oh, there you go. There. Perfect light. Do I'm you like, like it like that, or do you like it better um, uh, smooth? This is also kind of like a, a mix of the two that I showed you before, the two rainbow ones. Like It's partially linear at the top, but it's also mixed down at the bottom. Okay, so we've got the mixed look down here at the bottom. Right when I go here. And then we've got the clumps up at the... Oh, watch the hair dryer. I can go over it as well. Okay. Ooh, that is our final piece. Yep. Ladies. Finished, ladies. And you can put a quarter on it. It does kind of look like tears, doesn't it? It does. Now this down here at the bottom would be a fun place. Maybe now draw the umbrella totally lady, totally lady on there the, now. You can definitely put the umbrella You guys, on. I can paint her on there now. And then it really will look like rain. <laughs> what do you think? Froggy quick to the giveaway. What do you think? Is that her? Uh, yeah. She can't, she can't get back in. <laughs> she always gets logged out. Tell her if she shows up late for my class, I lock the door and she can't come in. <laughs> oh my god. Adam said he locked the door. Did you hear that? Adam hey, said... Hey, Ray's in there. Hey, Ray. Hi, Ray. Check out what I did, Ray. You get a Cubs one. Adam's going to make you a Cubs uh, crayon melt like this. Where's the lady on the umbrella, Adam? Oh, here. She flew away. Okay, so here, this is the only thing. Even if you just left like that, that looks kind of cool. Um... Well, left side, definitely. Well, it? I can't because of that. You can. Like that, you guys? What do you think? And then I could put a little quote down here. Um, she weathers through all her storms. How's that? Okay, so you don't think I should paint it black? You think I should just leave it like that? I'm Patrice? What do you all think? See, so we messed up at the beginning, and the good thing about this, you mess up, you just Thanks, keep going, Lubo. and it turns good. I paint agree, it. I think you should paint it also. You mean black? Oh, yeah. And then fill in the umbrella. Leave maybe it like what about that, silver? See? Would silver look sweet? She I don't maybe. know. Well, maybe we can take a pole. Could I, would I want to peel that chunk off? You can melt it, but that's... The longest piece on there, and it kind of makes it stand out. <laughs> just print her out again and reflect her and put her that, that. Does that look cool with white or does that look stupid? That looks kind of cool, huh? It's too uh, stark white. What do you guys think? Do you like it white? Yeah. Do they like it like that or no? They're saying no. No? And Snuggle Mouse has a grammatical error in there. Uh oh, Denise, you have a grammatical error. That's okay. <laughs> This is the internet, so it's okay. Ray, look at what Ray, Ray has an error. Your what one was Ray awesome? Ray just talks like that all the time. <laughs> oh, NIU. <laughs> oh, NIU. You want to see it again right here, Mom? Can you hold this? Yeah, uh, Ray's, Adam's going to make you a Cubs one. Yeah, not white. All right, so, I don't know, we'll talk about it. This is awesome, though. It's so smooth. I can definitely put her on, or I can leave her right there. Here's the NIU one, Ray. How are we doing this giveaway? Okay, so here I am standing here holding the camera. Uh, Adam would like to give away his other one. I'm going to call Froggy. This one We're is gonna being We're going to give that, this one away. Um, it's a, could you ask your mom if she's coming back in? Hi, Susan. Oh, that's up there. <laughs> Our kids, Denise. Well, hey, you guys are going to have to help me figure out that umbrella lady. Do you think she looks good right where she is? Yeah, Adam, do you like her, her in the middle? Yeah, I'll cut her out better. Yeah, right there, like right next to it. Push her up against it as much as possible. Too bad you couldn't, like, sneak it under there. Maybe cut it so that one piece... You're not going to use her, right? Can I cut her? Yeah, when you, I don't understand what you Watch. mean, why you want to cut her. He's experimenting. Okay, bear with me. Sorry, umbrella lady. He likes her over to the left a little bit. Oh, no, I don't Well, maybe that. if you cannot, yeah, no. If you, no? No, it looks like it's broken. Uh-oh, there's a mother-daughter fight occurring. No fighting in my classroom. No, I don't like that either, right? 
All right. Well, I'll figure it out. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll take a picture and upload it to Facebook when we do. Yeah, and then I'll, I can put a little quote right here because I have a white pen like the black one that I have. Trying to hold the camera. So, no. Time out, Denise and Beth. Okay, look, ladies, from the wax splattering, we now have it all over the table. My phone okay? Phone's okay. All over the phones, mm -hmm. all over my hands. It's just a little bit But okay. it's gorgeous. <laughs> so, um, the colors are great. I would like to get Froggy back in here to um, How do you add a really chance do of... Do you do a number? Yeah. Um, you guys, do you yeah, mind I if I log out really quick and log back in so that you're not hanging from the chandelier and then we'll do the giveaway. It'll give Froggy a second to get back in here and then I can show you the flowers that I'm making too if you like. Is any everyone going to be okay if I do that? I have to literally shut my computer off so that my camera's recognized and everything. Okay, yeah, and then you won't be dizzy. All right, I'm going to sign. Thank you. They're all saying thank you. He's going to he's going to stay with us to do the giveaway, so I will be right back. Okay? Be right back, guys. <laughs>